how we can transfer data from one sheet to another sheet using VBA code. In this Excel file, I have multiple sheets with city names and one sheet with name as source. So first sheet here is with source name where I have data from A to H column and all other sheets are saved with city names. In these sheets with city names, right now I don't have any data. So task is that I want to transfer data from source sheet to a specific sheet saved as city name. And for that, here in D1, I have one drop down list. We can see that this drop down list has name of cities. So when I select any city from this drop down, VVA code will check name of that city in column C and all the rows where city name is matching with this D1 value that data will be transferred on that specific sheet. So here we can say if I have selected Mumbai then all the rows having city name as Mumbai will be transferred to a specific sheet here in this case Mumbai. So let's see how this will happen. So I have already selected Mumbai or let me select any other city. Let me select Pune and then I'll click on this command button and what I will expect that all the rows where city is Pune will be transferred to this sheet named as Pune. So let me click on this command button. So task is done. Let me check on sheet name Pune. So we can see that data is transferred where city name was Pune. And let me check on source sheet. We don't have any data where city name is Pune. So that data is transferred to a specific city name sheet. So let's see how we can create this kind of solution. So first we will see that how we can create drop down. So let's say I want to create drop down in cell A1. So what I'll do first I'll write values of city. Let's say Pune, Delhi, Mumbai or any number of values we can write anywhere on the sheet. In cell A1, I will go to data and here we have data validation. Select data validation. In data validation from first drop down we have to select list. Once we have selected list, Next drop down will be there named as source. In source, we will give or select values that we have written somewhere in this sheet. Press OK. We can see that in A1, we have one drop down with city name. So, this is how I have already created drop down in cell D1. Now what is the code that I have used here in this command button? So let me go to developer tab. Click on design mode. Then I will double click on this command button. So this is the simple VBA code that I have used to transfer data on any specific sheet. So let me delete this code 
and write this code again and explain so that you can use this code for any of your tasks which is similar to this first i will declare a variable here dim a as string and drop down value is there in cell d1 that means first row and fourth column so here a will store value of d1 so a equal to worksheets sheet name where we have data is source dot cells one comma four dot value so let me go to sheet d1 value is assigned to variable named a now i'll check that how much data we have on sheet named source so for that i'll check last failed row last row name of variable i am keeping here last row equal to worksheets sheet name source dot cells rows dot count i want to check by using first column so column one dot and excel up dot row so once it is found that which is the last field row then i'll use one for loop for i equal to last row to i want to run loop from last row to first row of data so here in this case we can see that data is starting from row number 5 so for i equal to last row to 5 step by minus 1 loop will run by 1 by 1 that means for each row closing statement of for loop next within this for loop if worksheets source dot cells for row i will use variable of loop which is i comma 3 dot value equal to a so if any row has city name equal to a and in a we have stored value of d1 that means value of drop down then what should happen then this workbook dot worksheets source dot rows i that means that row dot cut i want to cut that row and then i want to move this row to that specific sheet name once this row is cut this workbook dot worksheets here i will pass a why because same city name should be there in sheet so let me go to excel sheet again we have to pay attention towards making sheet name same with city names as we have in column c in other examples if there is any other example where you want to use this code you have to remember that value of cells should be same as value 
which we have used for sheet names. So I am passing here a dot activate. Once that sheet is activated, then on that sheet i want to check if there is already we have any data so here i will use variable name as last field row equal to active sheet dot cells rows dot count one for first column dot and in brackets excel up dot row so we have found that if we have any existing data or what is the total data on sheet where we want to send data from source sheet then this workbook dot worksheets a dot cells here on destination sheet i want to paste data in the next available row and for that i will use this variable where we have stored last row number or last field row number plus one that means next available row comma one that means first column dot select and then active sheet dot paste so what we have done so far we have pasted data from source sheet to destination sheet which is stored or which is available with city name once we have pasted value or the row then this workbook dot worksheets source dot activate and this workbook dot worksheets source dot rows i dot delete because it will leave one blank row on source sheet space shift excel up and now i'll close this if statement here and if so what will happen on source sheet loop will run from last row to fifth row and every time it will check if we have in third column city name equal to the drop down value then it will search or activate that sheet it will cut that specific row and paste in the next available row without replacing any data on the destination sheet and this will transfer data from source sheet to destination sheet so once task is done I want to select worksheet worksheets source dot select worksheets source dot cells five comma one select and maybe we can give a message as well
msg box data transfer is completed So this is the code I hope will work to transfer data. So let me minimize this window. Let me delete these extra values. Click on design mode so that we are out of design mode. Now data from Pune is already transferred. If I select any other, let's say I will select Mumbai and click on this command button this code is working we are getting message data transfer is completed now let's check on sheet named Mumbai so we have four lines of data and let's check on source sheet so we can say that all the data or all the rows having city name as Mumbai are transferred to sheet named Mumbai. So let me show the code again. So you can use this simple VBA code for transferring data from one sheet to another sheet automatically also you can modify this code to make better usability for your projects i hope this tutorial is helpful let me know if you have any question around this topic in comments or send me email thanks for watching you can subscribe to my channel for getting notifications of new vba tutorials thank you